Hi, my name is Kuba and today I guide you through the live chat software in a short presentation with everything you need to know about live chat. This is our livechatinc.com page where the chat is already implemented. The default placement of the chat window is here, in the lower right corner of the website. If you want, you can place it on any other side of the page. We decided to place it here defaultly because based on our experience, it allows your visitors to chat with you and browse the content of your website at the same time. Your customers can simply start a chat by clicking on a chat bubble. You can set up a preacher service so you could ask your website visitors for some information you need before a chat starts. Here in live chat, we ask our customers about the email address, website address, and also the topic of the conversation. But if you want, you can easily modify your preacher survey and set up any type of question you want. Once I fill out the fields here and hit start the chat button, I'll be connected to one of the available agents. Now I'm connected to my colleague. Let's say hi. As you can see, all of the chat messages are visible for me all the time. So I can see the timestamps, the message that agents sent, the message that I've sent. Also, I can see an indicator showing me if the agent read my message. I can simply give the agent a rate during the chat. Later on, I can continue the conversation. If there's a need, I can also send a chat transcript to my email after the chat is over. I can also attach some files to the chat, so if I want to share some documents, screenshots, I can easily do it over the chat without switching between different communication channels. The chat has two states depending on agent's availability. When there is at least one agent available, the chat is online. And once all the agents log out of the application, the chat will switch to the offline mode. Just to show you how it looks like, I will switch myself to an offline mode and refresh the page. Now you can see an offline window with an offline message form. So your customers could leave you a message you'll come back to later on. The message will turn into a ticket, which I'll be explaining later in one of the next videos. The form can be customized depending on what kind of information you'd like to get from your visitors. That concludes the first video about how the chat looks like on the website. Stay tuned for the next one.